Hey, I'm Bob and I like to make stuff. Today on Maker 101, we're gonna talk about circuits. Now, I don't wanna talk about how to make circuits or how to wire anything or anything like that. I just wanna talk about what a circuit is. And one of the best analogies that I've found to explain a circuit to somebody is something called the hydraulic analogy. And basically, that just equates electricity flowing through a wire much like water flowing through a pipe. Any electrical component is like something that's connected to the pipes. Water can flow into the component and then back into the system. That component can do things to the water. It can change the amount of water that's allowed to flow through, or it can pressurize it so that it comes out faster than it came in, or vice versa. Now there's three things you need to know before we move farther. The first one is called voltage. Voltage is the pressure of the water moving through the pipe. It's basically how much water can move through in a certain amount of time, and it's measured in volts. The next is resistance, and that is anything that opposes the flow of current. So if you have a two inch pipe, and then you made it go down to a one inch pipe, that's gonna resist some of the water to flow through. It would be the same if you had a really dirty pipe. The dirt on the inside is gonna make the opening a little bit smaller and resist some of the water that's trying to flow through. And the last one is current, and it's about the volume of water in the pipe. You'll hear things about high current and low current, and that's really about how much water is moving. Certain electrical components can only handle certain amounts of current. So imagine you had your kitchen sink and the normal amount of water that comes through it is low current. Now if you hooked up a fire hose to it, that's high current and it's probably gonna mess your sink up. So you have to make sure you have the right kind of components for the right amount of current. And current is measured in amps. Another term you'll hear a lot is watt or wattage like a 40 watt light bulb or a 100 watt speaker. A watt is the capacity of a component to handle a combination of voltage and current together. In fact, it's a really simple formula. Wattage equals voltage times current. So a 40 watt light bulb could be four volts times 10 amps, or it could be two volts times 20 amps. And that just means that your 40 watt light bulb can handle a lot of current at low pressure or a little current at high pressure. So we've got voltage, resistance, and current. So back to circuits. A circuit is the flow of current from point A to point B, from positive to negative. So when you plug in a lamp, the electricity comes in one prong, through the lamp, and back out the other prong. So your electric bill reflects how much of the electricity that came into that lamp is turned into heat or light over time by the bulb and it's measured in kilowatt hours. In fact, the bulb is what's called a load in a circuit, and that's anything in a circuit that turns some of the electricity into something else, into heat, light, sound, motion. So there's really not a whole lot of difference between how electricity flows through the wires in your house to how water flows through the pipes in your house. There's a volume, there's a pressure, and there are things that slow it down or use it. So let's take a look at some of the components so that you can recognize them when you see them in electronics projects. This is a transistor. It's a three terminal component and it's usually used to amplify a signal, but it can also be used as a switch. This is a resistor. It causes resistance to the flow of electricity. You can tell the amount of resistance by decoding the colored bands on each one. This is a capacitor. It builds up and stores a charge for a short amount of time. Some capacitors do have a positive and negative lead, so you have to make sure that you hook it up correctly. A diode only lets current flow in one direction. You may recognize this light emitting diode, or LED. It just lights up when current passes through it. Last is the integrated circuit. This is a collection of transistors and capacitors and a bunch of other stuff etched onto a tiny piece of silicon. You get to all those things by connecting to the external leads. And the whole water flowing through a pipe thing is just one of the many different analogies that you could use to understand electricity. So if you have another one that helps you better, leave it in the comments because it may help somebody else. I'll be back really soon with more projects and more Maker 101 videos. I have lots of other stuff for you to check out and make sure to find me on the social networks and ask me some questions, show me some stuff you're working on. Thanks guys, see you next time.